Right, so this switch has been sent by Console Repair London. And this particular switch, if I just cover the customer's name because there's no blurring out stuff live. Um, this particular switch charges from one side of the port after a port replacement. So we don't know what to expect here. Could be tech damage, but most likely it's just going to be an M92 issue, I would say. So let's uh, let's dive into it, shall we? So let's see what goes on with the USB cable first of all. Why is that not showing up? Thank you, Mohammed, for the one pound donation. I appreciate that, mate. Uh. Should get that get that ready. Right, so let's see what's going on with the USB cable then. Okay, and uh, we get nada. Nothing at all. And uh, we do that side. 0 0.18 amps is that. Yep, that is charging that side, but we get absolutely nothing on this side. So the question is, is that a port issue or is it an M92 issue? I'm going with M92. You guys can take your bets and see who's right. Let's provide the bench power supply with 4.2 volts. Uh, let's use this breakout cable that I made all by myself. Ain't I a clever bunny? <laughs> and turn it on. Hmm. No. Interesting. Right, so I think I might need to activate it then. So let's activate the charging circuit. There we go. That's prompting to boot now. <coughs> and yes, indeed, it does turn on. Okay. So, it does turn on. Let's just give it a quick test for some other stuff. Let's start with Joy-Cons. Let's just make sure everything works. It's always nice to know that everything's working. Uh, no, it won't. It won't activate it, mate. The charger activated it. Uh, okay, so that Joy-Con works. Or rather, Joy-Con rails. And it picks up Wi-Fi. And there we go. Cool. So that works on the internet. Let's just check the game. Make sure it loads the game up. It does, and it's very unlikely that it's going to dock. Very unlikely that it's going to dock. Oh, it does dock, surprisingly. So there you go. It does indeed dock. So it docks. But it just don't charge on one side of the port. So, I am going to go with M92 T36 being at fault. Jason still thinks it's the diode arrays. 
except this one doesn't have diode arrays. Sorry, Jason, you lose. Take a shot. <laughs> oh dear, Jason loses already. Jason's out the game. Wish I could find a switch to practice on, mate. They're, they're extortionate on eBay. They really are. Right, so this is probably not going to show any signs of any short at all, sadly. But most likely it's going to be M92 anyway. So regardless of what this multimeter diagnosis says, I'm just going to change it anyway. It's kind of pointless, but I just do want to see if it is actually going to read any kind of... Uh, any kind of short anywhere but in my experience when we've got charging on one side of the port it is down to m92 t36 so let's uh let's check in continuity mode and yep no signs of a short anywhere to be seen but i'm going to change it anyway because from experience that is always what it is so let's get that changed out for the new one let's grab my hot air where is my nozzle gone that's what she said beat you all to it you all lose right Get a new, well, a replacement chip. By the way, I'm not using the scope right now. Just, uh, I know I've got no way of proving that, but I'm genuinely not. You guys know I'm honest. I was genuinely not using the scope there. And I'm still not going to use it. There you go. Whoops. That slipped a little bit. Don't need to when you got it on screen in front of you. I'm not looking at it. I can't look at the screen on the microscope. I think I've said that thousands of times. I genuinely can't. I can't use a screen. Was that a pool of flux? Nearly. All right, now we're going to use the scope. Ah! See, I use the scope and then look what happens. What the? Really? I use the scope for one second just to see where the bridges are. Now blow it off the board. <laughs> My name's not Jason. I don't need to do that. Oh, I'm going to use the skull. Watch it. Three, two, one. Yoink. I don't even need to use my hand. Look, honey, no hands. <laughs> uh, 
Dea. Look at that. That's my hands right now. That's why I decided to use the the scope. My hands are uh, acting up a little bit. Definitely feel all night too. But genuinely, I'm not I'm not faking that. My hands are really acting up. I don't know why. That's why I decided to use a skull. A video, welcome, mate. Twenty minutes to remove a cap. Damn. Yeah, the Atten is really good. I really recommend the Atten. Highly recommend the Atten. Interestingly, this resistor here doesn't look too clever. I don't know whether I've tapped it with the iron malnutrition. Nah, I eat well, mate. I had steak for tea last night. I'm eating liver tonight. I have a lot of iron and um, protein in my diet. Well, I wouldn't call it a diet. I eat what I want. <laughs> but I eat a lot of liver and a lot of steak. That board will work great. I've got to admit, it did work great, and you can use it in the pocket warmer afterwards because it sucks out the it sucks out the heat. <laughs> right, okay. So all we need to test for charging both sides is going to be the bench power supply battery. This is what I love about this setup: productivity, ladies and gents, productivity. And no. Still no charge on one side of the chip or one side of the cable. Oh, hang on. Did I have that plugged in wrong? No, I did not. Interesting. Let's just double confirm that by actually plugging it in, shall we? Let's just hook it up to this. Let's just double check it just in case that's uh, another issue. We definitely came in for that, but we might actually have an issue with the port. So, oh, hang on. We need battery LCD and backlight. Is the port itself okay? Well, it's been replaced, um, and since then it's not been charging on one side. But it does dock, interestingly, so... Generally, we haven't got an issue, usually, when it docks with the port. But we'll see. Well, we've got a charging symbol that side. Still no. So, evidently, M92 appears good. Uh, so, I was wrong. So, I'm out. So, let's have a look into the port then, I guess. Okay, 
Let's see what's going on with this port then, shall we? I missed that message, mate. I've removed the port now, so... Right, so let's just check. I've got a breakout board, I just don't use it. Right, the fuse is working, so I've just tested pin 4 to there. Filter work. There's no short to ground on those caps around by the MOSFET. So all of that seems good. So I'm just going to try installing a new port. Uh, the difference between the Atom and the Quick is the Atom's cheaper and it also has a cold air feature. Uh, whereas the Quick, it's a little bit faster at heating up. Uh, but other than that, the Atom is better in pretty much every every um, every department, if I'm being honest. Alright, so I've got myself a brand new port. Okay, so I'm just going to prep these pads. So rather than switching irons, I'll use the T12, I guess. Okay, let's get some wick and some flux. And let's just trim the end off my wick because I'm too lazy to do it when I'm actually using it. So I'm just going to clean out these ground holes. Wow, it come off the holder. Oh dear. Well. Dear, dear, dear. Well, that's not good. No, the holder don't have rubber grips right now. What kind of solder has been used here? What kind of solder has been used here? I just don't want to clear it. Out. Right, let's go with the direction of the pads. I don't know what solder has been on this, so I'm wicking it all to clear it all away. the board breaker <laughs> right so the holes are not fully cleaned out but that's not too much of a big deal my well, guess is silver line no in my look mate no in my look how do you remove flux? Uh, just size propyl alcohol while it's warm um, is good for flux removal. Isopropyl alcohol will gunk up if it's uh, sorry, flux will gunk up if it's uh, if it's cold. So the best thing to do in that situation is just add a little bit of heat if it goes cold and uh, just isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab. That tends to work well. Right, let's get some fresh. Leaded solder. Notice I pronounced solder with the L. 
because that's the way that normal people pronounce it. Anyone who pronounces it different is backwards. Pronounce solder. Yeah, as Jason said, or liquid metal. <laughs> Right, them pads are beautiful and shiny. Okay. Cool. So let's get the fresh port. I'm going to hold that in the tweezers ready. Like that. And I'm going to use my hot air gun with the nozzle removed. So I can get a good surface area on it. We got the two P to cover BQ. Nah, you don't need it, mate. You don't need it. Right. Spin this round. Perfect. Whoops. Okay. Let's add some more flux. A lot of glare. Yeah. It's uh, it's the reflections, mate. There's nothing like, nothing you can do about that. The reflections off the silver port and the silver uh, heatsink cause that. Sadly. Right, let's just tin these. Well, let's just re solder these joints. Damn it. I'll hit the iron. Better than factory. It will be. Yank. And clean up. All right, I'll give that a proper clean in a short while. Just want to inspect these joints, make sure they're all good. Um, I'm going to be honest, even though that's absolutely fine, that one middle pad is tilting the life out of me. There you go. That was really tilting, mate. <clears throat> oh dear. OCDs. Ooh, look at that solder sucking into the. Damn it. You know what? Stuff the board holder. Stuff the board holder. No, it's a little bit out of focus, guys. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm, only, I'm only soldering the ground legs, so. I wish, I wish neighbours would keep the noise down. To be honest.
hot in the shed very mate but i've got to keep the frigging door closed because of the neighbors too much background noise i'm literally baking in here to be honest even hotter when you're using hot air and stuff yeah cheers brian thanks for hanging out mate i appreciate that everybody needs good neighbors <laughs> So there's another way you can get flux off. Yeah, really, ain't no joke there, Phil. I hate streaming when chopping onions. <laughs> Put them in water. Put them in water, mate. While, you, while you're cutting them. Fill your sink up with water and just chuck them in water while you're peeling them and cutting them. Trust me, I'm a chef. It works. I'm really not joking, I, I used to cook for 1,600 people. I'm not a chef, but I am technically uh, qualified. Clean inside the port, always clean inside the port, guys. All right. Let's test. This is a grill chef. Chef, nice. Damn it! I've just prompted that to boot, but never mind. Okay, we are charging that side. And we're charging that side. Yay! So it was the port. So I guess I'll put that M92 back in my tub of chips. But we appear to be charging. So I guess I'll put that back in there. Because, well, that one was the customer's, but I've just replaced it. Um, I'm not going to take the other one back off. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Unless you're trying to fix. And then you can. Right, so. Yeah, apparently it was just a bad port. Which kind of sucks for the customer. Because now they've got to wait quite a while for this back and it could well have been M92 and the port but that's doubtful I will test docking and stuff again once I've uh, put it back together what's the testing device you're using uh, well I've got this is um well this this cable here is connected to my dock uh, this is a breakout cable a Thunderbolt breakout cable um, but then this thing here is called the USB ammeter, uh, A M M E T E R, not amp meter, ammeter, uh, A W M E T E R, E T E R. Um, it's basically just a USB. If you just type in on Amazon USB C USB C tester, um, it'll it'll pop up. Uh, they're about twelve pound for one of them ones from Amazon. You can buy them for, you can buy them cheaper from China, but you have to wait <coughs> for them to turn up. But the breakout cable is just there, so I haven't got to keep hooking it up into the dock. I can just hook it up to a USB cable, same cable I use for charging. And uh, it gives me docking functions as well from an original switch dock, uh, which is always useful. Um, I have got other docks. I've got third-party docks which don't brick the switch. But the problem with them is they don't use all of the pins for HDMI display. They just use certain pins. So it's always best to use an official dock when testing. Uh, right, well stick. So I'll just use a breakout cable, save you having to keep reaching over. Notice I let the electric screwdriver spin out of my hand when it's uh, screwing the screws back in. So they don't over tighten. I don't know if anyone noticed me doing that. What happened to this switch? Um, he originally went to London, Console Repair London, who's a company who um, sends me most of the stuff that I do as business-to-business -business deals. 
Um, he changed the port because it was damaged and still wasn't charging on one side. Um, turns out it was just a badly installed port, which is very unusual for him. Um, usually he has a very high success rate. Alright, so I'll test this with the breakout cable again. I don't really need to test anything else apart from charging function and docking because I've tested everything else already. So, it's not really a big deal. Uh, actually, let's test the game card reader while we're here. So I'll just plug that in just there. So not the game card reader, the SD reader. Actually, let's... Uh, ugh. There you go. That's got it. So I'll hook that up before I turn it on, because otherwise it'll prompt me to reboot. And we get a boot, we get display. Just hook up the heat sink. Sure, I forget. There you go. Touchscreen works. System update is required to use a memory card. No, I do not do updates, but that um, that memory card is working. So that's all good. That's my own card. It's my test card. But that's all good. So uh, let's just confirm things are working. Game card could not be read. There you go. That's just my game. That is, it's uh, it's my test game. Belongs in the workshop, so I'm not worried about that. It does read eventually, um, and everything else we've already tested, so all good on that sense. Uh, oh, hang on. No, we need to test docking again. Sorry. And I've just turned the screen off. So let's just make sure it docks. And, uh-oh. What have we done? I think we've, uh, I think we've accidentally put the port on backwards, guys. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, it's because I have it flipped horizontally. Right, and docking that side. There we go, docking both sides. So, docking that side. And docking that side. Awesome. Yeah, that is 100% working perfectly. Happy days. So, let's plug them into a charger. Just while we... Yeah, we've got backlight, cool. So I need to charge this battery up because this battery is going to be very, very low. And in fact, it's probably going to be about 2.4 volts, I would say. <clears throat> Actually, oh no, it's 3.19 volts. But as you can see... That is increasing, so that is charging. Absolutely fine. Cool. Happy days. Thank you, Jordan, for the two dollars. Beer device, the propylol, alcohol on the LCD. 
well, on the digitizer. Let's clean the flux off that went on the LCD. Always make sure it goes back to the customer nice and clean and 100% charged as well. Try and charge it to 100% before you turn it off. How much will charge for an APU reball? 65. I'm actually doing a video um, for next week for the second channel talking about prices. <coughs> right. So, yeah, there's another one done. So, obviously, we had a little bit of a guessing game on what it could be. Um, and I lost the guessing game. Most of you won. It did turn out to be the port, not the uh, not the M92 chip. It could have still had a 40 M92 chip, but I can't charge for that because I can't verify it. So, um, yeah, the other one's just gone back in my tub and uh, I've just left that one on. Oh, dear. I yawned. Whoops. Uh, Joy-Cons are the charging after the repair. They are, mate, yeah. Um, a little tip with these. If your fan is spinning, then Joy-Cons are charging. If the Joy-Cons are not charging, then the fan's probably not spinning. And vice versa. If the fan's not spinning, the Joy-Cons are probably not spinning. Um, well, I can't actually show you now, but those was charging. It was coming up battery low when it was uh, when I disconnected them. Um... So yeah, Joy-Cons will be charging because the fan was spinning. So 100% those Joy-Cons will charge. 